Hello students, how are you all? Today's topic is a special instrument. Before introducing that instrument, I want to ask you a question that say you are suffering from fever and uh, you are going to visit a doctor. First, your doctor will use a special instrument to measure the body temperature. Yes. What is the temperature of your body since you are suffering from fever? So uh, the doctor has to measure the temperature of your body. To measure the temperature, what he will use? He will use a thermometer. Yes, thermometer is the device by which he will measure the temperature of your body. Yes. Thermometer is a special instrument by which we measure the temperature of any object, any liquid or any object. If you want to know the temperature of that object, we use thermometer. I've got a thermometer for you here. See, see, this is a thermometer. If you can see this thermometer here, this portion is filled with mercury okay understood what I said this portion this silver portion which you can see this silver portion is filled with mercury and what doctor does he takes this thermometer and he gets it contact with your body and then this thermometer shows you what is the temperature of your body Understood? So, now we will discuss different type of thermometer. I will tell you about three types of thermometer. First thermometer we call Celsius thermometer. That shows the temperature in degree Celsius. The next thermometer is Fahrenheit thermometer. And that shows the temperature in Fahrenheit. And the third thermometer is Kelvin thermometer, which shows the temperature in Kelvin. Got it? Now, if you see a thermometer, you will see that few marks are there. Yes, small lines are there. If you can see, if you can see this thermometer, the small lines are, lot of small lines are there. They line, these lines starts from here and ends here okay now this thermometer as i told you it starts from here generally for a thermometer say we are considering a thermometer the complete celsius thermometer we are considering as i told you i will tell you about three thermometers celsius fahrenheit and kelvin so if you see a celsius thermometer you will see that this mark where it is starting this mark which is near to this mercury chamber this chamber is filled with mercury and near that the mark is zero yeah it starts from zero i am saying about celsius thermometer celsius thermometer starts from zero then 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. It ends at 100. So let us draw it once. Say this is my thermometer. This is the thermometer. And this is the mercury chamber. This chamber is filled with mercury and if you see lot of marks are there and first is 0, 10 in this way it will continue and it will continue till 100 fine this is celsius thermometer so I am writing here C Okay, Celsius thermometer, which starts from 0 and ends at 100.
करेक्ट द नेक्स्ट थर्मोमीटर इज फॉरन हाइट थर्मोमीटर नाउ दिस इज द फॉरन हाइट थर्मोमीटर अगेन द मर्क्यूरी चेंबर एंड दिस फॉरन हाइट थर्मोमीटर स्टार्ट फ्रॉम थर्टी टू डिग्री लाइक आई टोल्ड यू द सेल्सियस थर्मोमीटर स्टार्ट एट जीरो डिग्री एंड फॉरन हाइट थर्मोमीटर स्टार्ट एट थर्टी टू डिग्री एंड इट विल कंटिन्यू टिल थ्री सेवन सॉरी टू वन टू डिग्री अंडरस्टेड थर्टी टू डिग्री टू टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व डिग्री got it now third thermometer third thermometer is kelvin thermometer this is the kelvin thermometer okay kelvin thermometer starts from what 273 yes and ends at 373 got it this is kelvin thermometer Fine. You note down one thing. Here I have given zero degree. Here also thirty-two degree. But here I have not given any degree. Yes, in Kelvin. While writing the Kelvin thermometer or Kelvin temperature, we don't give any degree. Zero degree, hundred degree, thirty-two degree, two one two degree. But this is only two seven three, and this is three seven three. We are not going to write any degree here. If you give a degree here, it's a mistake. Don't give it. Fine. Now, as I told you, that Celsius is starting from zero degree. Fahrenheit is starting from thirty two degree, and Kelvin is starting from two seventy three degree. This temperature, this temperature. we call it lower fixed point of a thermometer yes this is lower fixed point now if i ask you the definition of lower fixed point then you will tell me <coughs> the particular temperature at which ice starts melting understood i repeat the temperature at which ice starts melting that particular temperature is called the lower fixed point of a thermometer that means ice starts melt melt at 0 degree celsius or you can say that ice starts melt at 32 degree or 273 kelvin got it now this is called upper fixed point of a thermometer okay lower fixed point upper fixed point now what is the definition of upper fixed point upper fixed point is that particular temperature at which water starts boiling yes i repeat the temperature at which water starts boiling is called upper temperature of a thermometer so this is called lower limit and this is called upper limit of a thermometer you have to remember all this data so if i ask you what is the lower limit of a kelvin thermometer then you will tell me 273 if i ask you what is the upper limit of a kelvin thermometer then you will answer me 373 kelvin got it now we will see what are the relations between this yes you have to remember two equations the first equation c plus 273 equal to k by using this equation you can convert the temperature measured in celsius into kelvin yes celsius to kelvin or kelvin to celsius celsius to kelvin or kelvin to celsius got it another formula between c and f is c by 
equal to f minus 32 by 9 f minus 32 by 9 so we have to remember these two formula to convert the temperature yes if i ask you your temperature is 10 degrees celsius convert it into fahrenheit then you have to use this celsius to fahrenheit if i ask you the temperature of an object is 100 degree fahrenheit convert it into celsius you have to use this because c to f f to c now if i ask you the temperature of an object is 50 degree celsius then convert it into kelvin then c to kelvin or kelvin to c got it these two formulas you have to remember so i hope you understood this celsius fahrenheit and kelvin thermometer and you also understood the lower limit and the upper limit of a thermometer and you have to remember these two equations got it now we will go for some numericals based on this formula let's see read the question carefully which is displaying on your screen the temperature of an object is 50 degrees c means 50 degrees celsius means this temperature is measured in celsius thermometer and what is the temperature in kelvin yes you have to convert celsius to kelvin so the formula what i told you c plus 273 equal to k we have to use that formula let us use it c plus 273 equal to k what is the temperature of that object 50 degrees celsius so instead of c i will write 50 equal to k plus it so the temperature is temperature is 323 k just see, I have not given any degree. I can't give any degree. I told you in Kelvin, we don't use degree. So the temperature of that object is 50 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees C. What is the temperature in Kelvin? 323K. Understood? Let us go for the next sum. In the next sum, the temperature of an object is 373K. Means 373 Kelvin. What is the temperature in Celsius? Okay, so same formula C plus 273 equal to K. C plus 273. Okay, what is the temperature of that object? 373K. So instead of K, I'll write 373. Understood? Since the temperature of the object is 373 Kelvin. So that's why instead of K, I am writing 373. Understood? Now C equal to 373 minus 273. This 273 plus 273 is going that side. That's why plus sign will be changed into minus 273. So what you are getting? 100. Okay? So the temperature is is 100 degrees celsius here you have to give degree because we use degree in celsius and fahrenheit got it so 100 degrees c understood let us go for another sum can you see the next sum displaying on your screen the temperature of an object is 20 degrees celsius yes 20 degrees c means 20 degrees celsius what is the temperature in fahrenheit so here we have to convert celsius to fahrenheit so we are going to use our second formula c by 5 equal to f minus 32 by 9 let us solve it the formula is fine now what is the temperature of that object 20 degrees Celsius. So instead of C, I will write 20.
Understood? Now, just see the calculation. How I am going to calculate it? Now we have to cross multiply it. Yes, cross multiply. How? By this, we will multiply the upper one. Like this. Okay? Then, this. But in exam, you will not show this arrow. These arrows are made just to make you understand. So let us multiply it. 5 by 5 into F. 5 F. Minus 5 into 32. 160. Understood? Equal to 9 into 20. 180. 5 F. Minus 160 will go that side. Plus 160. So 5F equal to 180 plus 160. 340. So F equal to 340. This 5 will go down. Understood? 340 by 5. Now divide it. F equal to what we are getting? 68. So the temperature is 68 degree Fahrenheit. We will write like this. 68 degree Fahrenheit. Remember I told you that in Celsius and Fahrenheit we have to give degree. In Kelvin we don't use degree. So the temperature is 68 degree Fahrenheit. You have to see this calculation very carefully. Let us move to our last question. In this question, the temperature of the object is 50 degree F, means 50 degree Fahrenheit. What is the temperature in Celsius? So we have to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. Same formula. C by 5 equal to F minus 32 by 9. Let us use that. C by 5. Fine. What is the temperature of the object? 50 degree Fahrenheit. So in place of F, we will write 50. So here in place of F, I am writing 50. Fine. Now see the calculation. 50 minus 32, 18. 18 by 9. Okay. Now again cross multiplication. I told you. This and this. And as I told you. In the paper. When you are solving this sum. You will not give this arrow sign. I am making this arrow just to make you understand. Correct. So multiply them. 9 into C. 9C. 5 into 18, correct? 5 into 18 is 90. So C equal to, I told you, which C, what number is there? 9. So 9 will come down. So 90 by 9. Divide it, what you are getting? C equal to 10. So what is the temperature in Celsius? The temperature in Celsius is 10 degrees Celsius. So answer is 10 degree Celsius. Understood? So what we discussed today? We discussed about thermometer. What is thermometer? The instrument by which we measure temperature of an object. Fine. How many type of thermometer I told you? Celsius, Fahrenheit and Kelvin. Then we saw their lower limit and upper limit which we call lower fixed point and upper fixed point. Lower fixed point means the temperature at which ice melts. 
that is called lower fixed point what is upper fixed point the temperature at which water boils is called upper fixed point and after that we saw the relation between celsius and kelvin and we also saw the relation between celsius and fahrenheit and then we also saw how to solve the numericals based on these relations i hope you understood okay thank you